you have that feeling that you want to express yourself and you want to sing or you want to paint or you want to act or you want to make a film, do it, do it, do it, you know? We need more artists because that's the food of the culture. I tried to see Julia in Vienna, but she wouldn't see me. She's leading a strange life, pretending not to be rich. What is that, some sort of political thing? Hey, you please, come back, you'll be all right. <laughs> You remind me of John F. Kennedy. Oh, boy. I've never heard that one before. I don't know how anybody can possibly believe that I have less of a stake in mothering that little boy than Mr. Kramer does. I'm his mother. I'm his mother. Don't like this book. It's a humiliating experience. It's an honest account of our breakup. Jesus, everybody that knows us is going to know everything. Look at you. You're so threatened. Hey, I'm not threatened. Because I, of the two of us, I was not the immoral, psychotic, promiscuous one. I hope I didn't leave out anything. May I have my keys back, please? Miss Reynolds, you all right? Yes, Leo. Would, would you lock up for us? We have to get back downstairs. So I hid that ham under my skirt on the train. I'm pretending that I am pregnant, you know. So afraid. And then that German was in the front of that train and he saw me. And I'm sitting there and he came up to me and he take under my skirt that ham and... So they sent me to Auschwitz. You were sent to Auschwitz because you stole a ham. No, I was sent to Auschwitz because they saw that I was afraid. You know, there's a lot of people at the plant. Hate me. The whole house is hot. How did it get hot? I spilled my urine sample container. That doesn't explain the readings we're getting on your nasal smear. 45,000 DPM. What? 45,000 DPM. Oh, my Jesus. Jesus. I'm internally contaminated then. That's what you mean, isn't it? You don't know yet what oh, it means. Oh, boy, that's what you mean. Karen, calm down, calm down. Hi, Grantis. Hello again. <laughs> uh, Margaret, Margaret Gilmore. You got Molly. Uh, you work in the city? No, I'm married. Oh. I mean, I no, I don't work. I mean, I do work, but I'm, uh, I'm not working now. I do commercial art. Uh -huh. Graphics, ads, freelance. I thought about you today. Oh, yeah, you did? Yeah, I mean, about seeing you again. I, I thought... I mean, about seeing you after so many months. Yeah, I know, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Even for myself, I do like to make a point of sleeping with people I don't know. I find once you get to know them, you don't want to sleep with them anymore. Please, can you stop? Can you stop fucking talking for five fucking minutes on end? But I would stop, I would stop. I would stop fucking talking if I ever heard anybody else say anything worth fucking stopping talking for. Does your sister behave like this at all her weddings? She's never done this before. No. Let me go see. I don't know, Eleanor. I don't know. 
Mom and Dad were a disaster. Charlie and I were a disaster. Everybody, except for you two. How long have you and Harvey been married? Twelve years. And it's a wonderful marriage, isn't it? It's okay. He's the best ever was, and I loves him because he's me pa. He's me pa. I like to become these different characters. It's just really fun. I mean, I don't want to go into the realms of mental illness or anything, but I, you do. It's it's a it's a real loss of control. I did feel ugly when I was little because I wore glasses and I felt not like a pretty girl. But these things are good. They make you figure out what's important. It's what you do, it's not how you look. And it interferes with your ability to be a good actress if you're constantly self-aware of yourself as a person. And I sort of cultivate my own insecurities because I think actors need to feel a little bit uncertain in order to admit all the possibilities that there can be for a character. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you. Don't forget me, I beg. I'll remember you say. Sometimes it lasts in love, but sometimes it hurts instead. I like playing characters that you misconstrue and, and because this is what we do as, as uh, actors is translate people and to each other and um, the ones that are most interesting are the ones that are the most misunderstood. I've never asked you this before but did you kill your baby? If I answer that question, I'll be giving you an interview, and my lawyer has advised me not to speak to you alone. No, I deny the conversation never took place. Come on, it's just between you and me. Did you kill your baby? Oh, come on. If I'd done it, why invent such an unbelievable story about a dingo? Don't sell yourself short. <laughs> You're crediting me with the perfect murder. Don't sell yourself short. The baby's clothes have been examined by Professor Cameron in London. Oh, I didn't know there were any dingo experts in London. He's a world-class forensic scientist. He found a handprint on the jumpsuit. It's made when it was wet with blood. It's a small female hand. Oh, well then I'm back in the hot seat, aren't I? What else was in this report? The baby was decapitated. You're the devil in disguise. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, don't you look. What's the matter with your clothes? <laughs> you did the laundry. Oh, yes. There must be something wrong with that machine. Well, here we all are together, having a nice family dinner. Mm, we certainly are. You know, Mrs. Fisher, I haven't told you what a wonderful daughter you've got. You did a terrific job in raising her. You never know it, the way she treats me, Miss Famous Writer over there. You would think a 41-year-old woman would have learned to appreciate her mother. You would think that a mother would appreciate the very expensive nursing home her daughter pays for. Mary, I, th I thought you were 34. Ah, she's 41. I got the birth certificate to prove it. Don't listen to her. She's getting uh, senile. Bullshit, I remember everything. I remember when you were just a teenager. I'm not interested in what you remember, so you shut up! You may clear the first course, Garcia. Boogie! Be quiet, please. We're gonna do a block for camera, everybody, and there's a lot of dialogue, so we need your total cooperation. Also, keep in mind there are live snakes in this shot, so we need you to be very, very careful.
Fancy meeting you here. Neil Bleen, associate producer. Right. Oh, I understand my enjoyment levels are down. Well, no. We felt the performance was fine, but you're holding something back. Sometimes certain line readings apply. Like in comedy, it is a rule. Inflections go up at the end. That's a comedy rule? Well, come on. It's not as though you farted during all your dialogue. We sat there and rushed saying, what's all that noise all over her lines? Oh, I'm so relieved. Well, Neil, thank you very much for the acting tips and the pep talk. My pleasure. Yep. Seems to be the problem. Problem, Simon, is that hundreds of people have had conversations with me about my low enjoyment levels and my... and my... and, and, and it, it, it bothered me. I would prefer to receive direction solely from you. Really? Hundreds no. of people? That shouldn't no. be. I'll have a word with them. I mean, we're talking about one day of work here. A day in which I was tied to a cactus and assaulted by snakes. You know, as if I were a child. Maybe I should give them my mother's phone number and she could come in and stand by and make sure I'm relaxed. But see, that's it. That's her. That's the character. That's the quality I've been looking for now. What you're doing. Do you see? But Simon, this is not relaxed. This is incredibly upset! This is. Okay, people, this will be picture. Darling, just be yourself and you'll be fine. Oh. Margaret. Roll play! Action! Help! Help me! Help me! Oh. You have a jacuzzi in your room? No. You do? No, not in my room. No. It's in the bathroom. It might not even be a jacuzzi. Actually, I think it's just holes in the tub. That's very sweet. You don't have to protect my feelings. I can take it. If you have a jacuzzi, I'm happy for you. <laughs> OK, I do. I use it every night. It's just wonderful. <laughs> I'm happy for you. I love it. A lot of bubbles. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, you're going to love this. Ooh. And you are going to love this. Oh. There's 30 shrimp in there, and there's 30 more where that came from. Wow. This looks delicious. Well, dig in, <laughs> eh? All right. My prosecutor just sat down. Look. Don't look. I can't eat here. What are you doing? What are you talking about? You're just eating dinner. No, I'm not. I'm having 30 shrimp. I'm a pig. Ah, everybody eats like this here. Yes, but everyone isn't having her watching them. Mm. She'll have this little teeny resident portion. I'm eating a fishing boat. Mm. Where's that gonna end? <laughs> We're having fun when that's mm -hmm. the important thing. <laughs> See what's happening now? This woman's looking at that. What? This is causing me trouble. Don't look, don't look, don't look. Back, back, back. <laughs> okay. Suck that up. It's Good. long. <laughs> bite down now, please. Please bite. 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 <laughs> oh, looks as though she's lost a few pounds. We're leaving. Nonsense. Let's go talk to her. Yeah. I'll talk to her. I just want you to know that I'm absolutely... I want you to know that you can call me anytime you want. Day or night. I did give you all my numbers. you would. I spoke to my PR woman and she said Madeline Ashton goes to the opening of an envelope. 
Oh, those people can be so cruel. Mm. I fired her. Oh. Well, I almost fired her. Well, well, that was sweet of you, dear. Would you mind? Not at all. So how's it been? Ah, heaven. It's absolute heaven. Ernest oh, is I'm a so happy dream. You both. You know, I often thought to myself, I don't deserve this. Because it came at your expense, and that thought made me feel terrible. Listen, that was a long time ago. You didn't steal him. He went to you. It wasn't you. It was him. I want you to know something. I have never, ever blamed you. Never. This is your fault. You're the one who brought her up without any sense of morals, without religion, without principles. She has no idea who she is. She's my daughter. If she'd done this with someone from a decent family, then maybe, maybe I could have understood. But with that scumbag, with that sneaky, dirty little son of a bitch, I'll kill him, I swear, on my mother's soul. When I find him, you'll wish he'd never been. has done nothing that you haven't done yourself. You've also slept with women not of your own class. But he did it for love, and so did Blanca. Clara, my angel. Come on. Come. I will never speak to you again. Never. What the hell was Frank talking about? He said this river shit was gonna be easy. <laughs> I think Frank had something else in mind. Did you ever think of that? That Frank thought he'd just dump you two somewhere along the line? and run the gauntlet with a nice light boat. Did he tell you you'd have to work? You guys are gonna have to throw your weight and high side it if we wrap around one of these rocks. You're gonna have to paddle hard when I tell you. And you're gonna have to do what I say when I say it. Otherwise, we got no chance in hell of making it through. And what makes you suddenly so anxious to get us through? I don't think you know me well enough to determine if I'm being anxious or if I'm being efficient. Let's grab the paddles and do some practice runs. Get up front, Terry. Do it! Paddling all the way over. Let's go! I get the distinct feeling that I'm lost. Are you supposed to be in Iowa? Yeah. Well then, you're not that lost. I really understood who she was. It was a war bride in my neighborhood in New Jersey. Her name was Nucci, and her husband was a GI who came home and brought this exotic creature, and she would say, Chrissy, take out the garbage. <laughs> and I just was in love with her. I loved the way she talked and moved, and spoken. I'm looking for one of those covered bridges out here in this neighborhood. Roseman Bridge? That's it. Well, you go that way and come to Cutter's and turn left. To Cutter's? Cutter's a farm. Small house close to the road. Big mean yellow dog. Mean yellow dog, okay. I can take you if you want. Or I can tell you. Either way, it's up to you. I don't care. It was blood in the car. Blood? Her blood on his jack. Blood everywhere. How do you know it was her blood? Show me. No, no, I want no, to see no, it. It's been taken care of. What? What do you mean, taken care Whatever of? Whatever would burn, I burn. The jack I took apart, I washed it clean. Oh, no. You can't just destroy evidence. 
evidence that might save him. You can't just... What if you've destroyed evidence that would prove he's innocent? How do you know that they were alone in that car? We don't know the facts, man. But Jacob's innocent. Jacob's not a killer. <sighs> Bessie, Hank uh, will do things like this just to get attention. He hasn't agreed to be tested for the transplant yet because he knows it'll make him the center of attention. He hasn't? No. Don't worry. He will. I'll make him if I have to. How are you going to make him, Lee? You can't make him come in from the car. Does Mr. Evans ever wonder how Christina clothes and feeds Michael? Does he ask her? Beasts of the field have more concern for their young than that creature has. Do you ever listen to yourself, Kate? You are such a damned righteous bitch. And his name is Jerry. Jerry! Don't I know his name is Jerry? What am I calling him, St. Patrick? I am a righteous bitch, aren't I? I'm fine. I'm fine. Good. I just have to take it easy. Oh, no. What are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> Can you stay the whole weekend? I'm home for a while. Home where? Here? Well, what about your job? I'm going to work from here. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Not to play nursemaid to me. Oh, mm -hmm. no, that's not. Oh, I don't need the... Man, you'll hate me. I've always wanted to do a movie about a mother that was honest about what they do to make the world wonderful. You're firing me. It wasn't me, Roberta. As of the end of this term, the violin program has been accessed. Do you tell me this is happening? Come into the office. There must be some way that we can fight this. Fight it for what? I don't have any other extra programs I can give them instead. Oh, 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 oh I see. I see. After 10 years, after 1,400 kids have been, have learned the violin. This is just an extra program. You think I haven't noticed what you've done for these well, kids? Well, do something! I have been on this phone for the past three days trying to do something. But as far as the board is concerned, violin classes are not a priority. <coughs> Shut the fuck up! Sit down! Shut the fuck down! Who the fuck are you? I just... He's that screenwriter. What, the guy that's uh, adapted our book? Yeah. I should know. I'm, 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 I'm really freaking here, Johnny. Why is he here? Are you going to write about this in your screenplay? I really don't know what this is. Oh, he's lying. Mom, did Dad love me? Oh, really? This is maudlin. I don't like this conversation. I'm a homosexual, Mama. Hello? Please, Mama, say something. Well, you're old enough to understand your father didn't love you without being ridiculous about it. What? I need to go to sleep. We will just forget <laughs> this phone call. Mom! And drinking is a sin! A sin! I raised you better than that. I had played a lot of good mothers who do the right thing. And it was more interesting to look at a mother who, is, who really does the wrong thing with her kids. Oh, and look at you. Look at you. Look what you've achieved. Look how far we've come. It's working, Raymond. And you're going to save our country now in the hour of her greatest need. Yes, Mother. And Josephine? Oh, it is. Is that you? Yes. Oh, good. Come in, come in, come in. Quickly, quickly trip it. Ah, ah, what, what? What, what? What's that? Not that quickly. <laughs> you could trip over the welcome mat and decapitate yourselves. So, quickly. But not too quickly. It's incredible. We have had sex on every surface of my apartment. 
He makes me want to do things. I understand. Oh, my God. We have to go. What? Why? Oh. Is that a patient? Yes, it's a patient client. Is that David? For a child, you hope to eliminate the threats to their happiness. That's why mothers are controlling. <laughs> I wouldn't know, I mean. You let me talk to you about our sex life? Trust me, that was harder for me than it was for you. That's why I think that our romance was so short. Because I knew that when we broke up, you would not cry, so I got way over it. Does that make sense to you? No, not at all. There you are, Emily. How many times do I have to scream your name? Actually, it's Andy. <sighs> I need 10 or 15 skirts from Calvin Klein. Okay, what kind of skirts do you... Please bore someone else with your questions. O okay. And Emily? Yes? That's all. How are things progressing? I don't think that he has any helpful information. Really? You're new to this, aren't you? This is my first torture. You worry about getting the information, and I will worry whether the information you get is helpful, okay? You focus on the job. I'm the kind of person who sits at home and screams at the television news. And it's very, very interesting to climb into the shoes of people whose purview it is to safeguard the nation and really think about how far you'd go to do that. I'm giving you the authorization. 68 was my first year reporting. It was my college newspaper. 1968? Yeah, you were six. Forty years means you should have enough salt to know that we're at a tipping point. As for precise military action, we will take the essential first step. First step? But what have we been doing for the past six years, Senator? Yeah. World War II took less than five. I don't care if you slept with hundreds of men. You're my mom, and I love you so much. So, <laughs> and I haven't slept with hundreds of men. <laughs> I believe this man is creating, or may have already brought about, an improper relationship with your son. I don't know. I know. I am right. Why well, you gotta know something like that for sure when you don't? What kind of mother are you? The ritual of putting on the habit is part of like the stations of the cross. You get ready to be the servant of God. That was preparation for the part. Look at that. You blew out my light. You can teach on television. Television? Mm -hmm. Me? Yes. Oh, Paul. Oh, no, Julia, I think you would be excellent on television. Oh, I do. Oh. I do. This year I got to play not only one of the most beloved women in America, Julia Child, I also got to pay homage to my own not-so-famous hero. That's my mother, who was of the same generation as Julia, who shared her verve. She just had no patience for gloom and doom. I'm not like that. <laughs> I am really honestly conflicted how to have my happy movie self in the face of everything in the real world. And I want to say that that's when I have my mother's voice coming to me saying, put the dress on, put on a smile, and be damn grateful that you have the dollars to help. I am really grateful. I am really grateful. Thank you, Mara. Thank you, Don. I'm Julia Child. Bon appétit. The world different. We all are. Him especially. But there's something kind of fantastic about that, isn't there? Ah! No, mother of God! What? Get it off! When are you naked? Why do you think? Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Ew. 
Not working. Big close up. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Margaret, with all due respect, when one has been to war. With all due respect, sir. I have done battle every single day of my life, and many men have underestimated me before. This lot seem bound to do the same, but they will rue the day. No one has ever asked an actor, you're playing a strong-minded man. We assume that men are strong-minded or have opinions, but a strong-minded woman is a different animal. Gentlemen, shall we join the ladies? Did you have fantasies? <clears> the <throat> threesome. With? Carol. Carol with the corgis? Hi! You got another corgi! I know! But three's the limit. You don't eat meat of any kind? Right. Is that for health reasons? When you eat meat, you ingest an animal's fear. Ingest what? It's fur? Fear. <laughs> <laughs> by mother. He's not usually like this. I'm surprised you're not more worried about him. Were he my responsibility, I would be. What have you done with the cow? She ran away. What? Well, she might just as easily have run away from you. Yeah, but she did. But she might but have she died. Did <laughs> Chairs! By midnight tomorrow, bring me the items or that child you wish for. We'll never see the light of day! Lots of things are gonna change in your life. Someday you're gonna wake up and find a gray hair. And I don't mean on your head. Vote for women! Never surrender. Never give up the fight. This is what we live for, isn't it?